Coming up on The Flush, it's time for Hank Hunt number two, as friends and other dog enthusiasts gather on the prairies of South Dakota to chase the wily ringneck. Rooster! You're gonna meet a lot of folks who love their dogs as we celebrate also the life of Hank himself. The Flush, presented by Federal Ammunition. How do they say it? When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Into miserable pheasant hunting conditions. Ice covered snow, ice covered everything. All right, let's see if we have any birds in here. All right, let's do it. Shot. Is that you, Dean? That makes a drive from California worth it, doesn't it? Makes a drive from California worth it. Who cares about ice? Well done. Who said Californians can't shoot? Bagging a bird isn't the only reason to be a field in South Dakota especially on a November day after a freezing rainstorm. There, let's go find it. These hunters and others you'll meet later girl, have gathered for a different reason, to honor their hunting dogs present and past and to share those memories. There is enough, fine, good girl. Hey! Hey! It's an annual event known as the Hank Hunt. Hank was a memorable yellow lab belonging to Scott Franson, a producer host of the Flush TV show. I thought of doing this after we lost Hank. I, I wanted, um, the loss of Hank left a big hole in our hearts. We put it out on social media that Hank had passed. My whole family was just beyond touched at the amount of feedback and condolences we got from uh, the Flush family. And that got me to thinking about there's a community out there just like us who loves their hunting dog. And I said, I wanna, I wanna see if we can get them together and, and, and use um, this Hank's passing as, as a, the reason. Sometimes you need a reason to push you so that's how we came up with the Hank Hunt. And now Hank Hunt too. They came from as far away as California and Alabama, coming to Hillsview Hunts, a lodge near Wetonka, South Dakota. Like I said, I, I, you know, I miss Hank every day, um, but he would... <laughs> make him happy to know people are out hunting and having fun in his kind of honor. Seven hunters from five states met in the lodge, each bringing their canine companions or memories of dogs gone to the happy hunting grounds. Shall we say it was a bonding moment and I was honored to be the MC. You know what's special for me is um, all of you came a long distance some of you, I mean, the magic of South Dakota is there, and it's, and it's for real. 
Um, South Dakota is uh, special because of where it is in, on the continent, the, the, uh, the vegetation, the soil, everything is great for pheasants. Uh, but it's kind of cool to me that you uh, that have come this far uh, in part to remember dogs gone and dogs here. The weather has thrown us a curveball, but we've all dealt with that before in the field and we will figure it out and we will have fun. And um, I celebrate you and all the dogs on the wall and the dogs present, past and future that we will celebrate together. Jeff, can you get that? That's a rooster. Coming up, we'll continue the hunting celebration known as Hank's Hunt when strangers and their dogs make memories and friends. The Flush is brought to you by Federal Ammunition, Waltons, Rufflin Performance Kennels, Pheasants Forever, and by Benelli. This segment of The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism. Start planning at hellond.com. That's a rooster. Let's be honest. The second Hank Hunt is happening under miserable conditions. Severe cold and a nice covered landscape. Really here, here. Rooster! Nice shot. There we go. How's that feel, sharpshooter? <laughs> Feels pretty good. <laughs> I didn't miss. If Kevin was gonna yell it. If I did, I knew it. <laughs> I was ready to back you up, Jeff, and miss. <laughs> I appreciate that. I had the miss part ready. The dogs, of course, were in their hunting glory. Love watching this dog work. Good girl, Mills. You got a point over here, Jeff. Mill here. Head, 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 head. Nice shot, Jeff. Up, 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 up. Come here. Hold, hold, Billy. Hold. Give, good girl. Give, give, give. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good, good girl. Yeah, good girl. That a girl. He's gonna go down. That's really! Really come, come on. Hold, 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 hold. Gift, gift, good girl, good girl. As the day went on, so did the weather. So it's a, it, war, it warmed up since this morning from one degree to two degrees. So, but we had the wind at our back this morning, and uh, now it looks like we're about to walk into it. And that wind, it's not too stiff, but makes it a lot colder. No truer words ever spoken. All right, let's go, Myrtle. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And then the 
the strangest moment of the day. Oh, dear. Well, I'll be doggone. Did anybody say thanks to the deer? Time to meet Winston. Winston's a plumber spaniel. He'll be two in December. We don't expect much out of him, but you know, it's putting him out in it. And but he's a purebred plumber. We got him out of Missouri. And uh, he's a, just a family dog, so he's a good dog. Now an Alabama resident, Winston wasn't sure what pheasants were all about, but he's learning. Really here, here. Rooster! Nice shot. Up next, the Hank hunt continues with good luck and bad luck. And that's what hunting is all about. The Flush is brought to you by Nutrisource. Aluma Trailers, Big Timber Fasteners, DeWalt, and by North Dakota Tourism. Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever are on a mission to help bird hunters like us find more wild birds on public land. Join Pheasants Forever or Quail Forever today and your $35 membership will help us to create more wildlife habitat, cleaner water, and abundant wildlife. Your investment will go right back into the ground making a difference today that will last forever. Nice shot. A hard day of hunting over, time to share dinner with strangers no longer. Rooster! Chef Lauren prepared another winner. Thanks so much. Thanks everybody for coming on the hang hunt. Soon, the doggy memories began to flow. Like I was supposed to go on a tower pheasant shoot a month ago. The guy called me the night before and said, you can't bring your dog. And I said, well, then I'm not going. Cause that's why I go, right? That's why, right? that's why I go. I knew Hank, and uh, not very long, because nobody did. And it was Scott's idea to have this Hank hunt. And it's uh, turned out to be a neat thing. This is my first time with a Hank hunt. And uh, what's fascinating for me as a writer is to have somebody from California Georgia, Alabama, or excuse me, Alabama, Texas, and uh, Iowa. So, sorry for you, but Iowa. But <laughs> I, I grew up in Iowa, so. I understand, yeah, I understand. No, uh, what's interesting to me is, uh, as a writer, is um, how many of you come so far to freeze your ass out here? Uh, because you wanted to be part of the Hank Hunt and also you, you, you wanted your dogs to be part of this thing. And that, uh, that's very special. And you're, you can prepare yourself for the loss and when they go quickly, it's vastly different. We're here celebrating memories and also making new ones with our yeah. dogs. Mm -hmm. And it goes like this. Hello, my name's Jeff. I'm from Southern Indiana, and this is my dog, Sally. She was a German wire-haired pointer, and she passed away this spring at 16 and a half. She was uh, there for a long time. Hi, I'm Mike from Southwest Iowa. This is my dog, Remy. She's uh, about 18 months, German short hair pointer. I'm John Peasley from Carmel, Indiana. And this is Marta, she's a six-year-old German short hair pointer. So I'm Matthew, I'm from Albertville, Alabama. Uh, this is Winston, this is my two-year-old clumber spaniel. 
Hi, my name's Dean. I'm from uh, far northern California in Redding, California. And this is my dog, Jack. He's a pointer and he's seven months old. Find him up. Find him up. Find him bird. Author Gene Hill once wrote, our greatest hunting trophies are not things, but times. Times without a dog and the good times with a dog. To see a group come together that hasn't met each other before and become fast friends is kind of heartwarming. With, with that common bond, the upland bond and, the, and really just passion for dogs. Find them up. Find them up. Find a bird. We wouldn't be here without dogs and all of them have memories and stories about past dogs, current dogs, we had puppies here, the, the dogs of the future, young dogs hunting, old dogs hunting. You know, that's, for me, that's what upland hunting is all about. Time to meet Winnie. Hi, my name's Kevin. This is Winnie. She's a three and a half year old British lab. We're from uh, Waukesha, Wisconsin. Is Winnie a Packer fan? Yeah, we don't claim them. <laughs> no, you, you can edit that out. Instead, Kevin says she's adorable and a good hunter, too. Up next, we say goodbye to new friends as the second annual Hank Hunt winds down with one more time afield to scratch our collective itch. Flush is brought to you by Chief Upland, Southwire Tools and Equipment, Wells Lamont Gloves, DeWalt Utility and Sump Pumps, and by Negrini Cases. If you love bird hunting, dog training, and hearing amazing stories from the field, then we invite you to join us each week for brand new episodes of the Flush Podcast. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. The Hank Hunt finale is about to begin. But the ice cover remains. He's on it, be ready. Blue Star! All right, our job is done! That's Thelma. On, Thelma man. was one on locked on it. Come on, babe. Come on, honey. How much does that mean? A, a million years worth of work right here. Yeah. It's a great right. feeling. I've been on the skates since we got here, so glad to finally get one. My job's done. Thank you. Rooster! Good girl, Thelma. Good girl. Good shot, Andrew. Watch it. She's going to go back for another one. Rooster! He's gonna get another one up. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Nice shot, Andrew. 
Kevin Smalley has guided many hunting groups at his Hillsview business, but the Hank hunt is different. Because I'm a dog lover. That's simple? That's pretty simple. And ringnecks sort of require dogs. Good girl, Billy. Here, Billy. In my mind of a ringneck pheasant Here. would be uh, the most savvy bird for weather conditions, the wiliest bird. Of, of our upland birds here. Rooster! 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 And so it ends. Another Hank hunt, another memory. I would say it was, um, it even eclipsed what I had hoped for. Happened even faster on this trip was the bonds, the bonds that were built. Very seldom do you get the opportunity to uh, share the field with so many people that feel the, that passion for their dogs. Um, it's a very unique experience. What I expected to see, our community of upland hunters and dog lovers uh, getting together with shared interests. So there's a lot of experiences I'll take from this. When I heard about the, uh, the Hank Hunt last year, um, I just lost a dog and um, he was 18 months old too. And to hear other people have went through that, I thought it would be a good thing for, for me. And um, it really sounded like a fun trip. What better way to honor the dogs that you don't have anymore than to come hunt with guys that are going through the same thing you are. You know, it's, it's great to uh, meet a lot of new people from really all over the country. Hey, Hank, up there in doggy heaven, quite a legacy you left behind.